Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review. And this time again, it's from Woody Wood Trucks. And I'm going to be reviewing a few of their products today. Now, I've done a review for them before on their actual trucks. And if you haven't seen that review, I'll put the link in the video description so you guys can go check out the review of their trucks. There's some amazing trucks. Um, and also, you'll notice I'm calling the products Woody Wood Trucks, but the title of the video is different. Um, it's not misspelt. That's how the company spells their name. But for the purpose of the review, I just call it Woody Wood Trucks. Um, the first thing I want to show you is uh, the casing that uh, they use when you order some of their products. Now, this one is a lot bigger because this one came with the deck, the wheels, and trucks. But for the purpose of this review, I'm not doing the review on the trucks because I've already reviewed the trucks. And that's why the link is going to be in the description. But I am going to be reviewing the deck and the wheels today. But everything did come in this awesome, like, plastic plexiglass ca uh, case, which was super cool. And it also came with this shut up, just grind sticker. It was very nice of them. Now, the first thing I want to get into is, um, is their deck. Now, the reason why I kept the deck without any tape or, or the trucks or wheels or anything on it is because I wanted to show you the detail of the, uh, the quality of this deck. And also that it has no concave at all. It is a flat deck. And it even says creature right there. This is their old school shape. Which is a five ply deck. And um, it's also engraved on the underneath or on the bottom ply, sorry, with their logo, which is very cool. I mean, the craftsmanship is very well done i mean it's got the the raised nose hopefully you guys could see that the nose is slightly steeper than the tail and a bit longer and then again it's got no concave whatsoever as you can see the board rail is sitting flat on the deck and that's because it's an old school cruiser however having said that it um it was, you still have no problem doing like regular street style tricks with this board. It was it was actually pretty pretty nice. Um, I even really enjoyed the uh, cutout wheel wells that he did. Uh, that was a really nice touch to avoid any wheel bite. And the um, the counter sinks and the mounting screws again are perfect. The only thing that um, that kind of took me back from this deck. Was as, as you can see, I have board rails and um, a tail guard here. And there's a reason why they're not on the deck. Um, when I got them, I was super excited because I thought they would look stoked. Um, I thought I was stoked to see them on the deck. But unfortunately, the pre-screwed holes, you can see here, there's pre-drilled holes to mount these guards. However, they, the, the, they only went as far as the one ply, so I wasn't able to screw the, um, the mounting screws all the way through the deck because mounting screws don't come with the point to cut through the wood in order to go through the other plies. So my recommendation to Woody Wood Trucks would be to, to pre-drill the hole all the way through so that you can actually mount the uh, the board rail with the screws that are supplied by them. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, why don't you just glue on the board rail? It still would look nice. I mean, yeah, it would look good, but then it, it when you glue it, it's permanently on there. And if I want to take them off for any reason, um, it's a lot more difficult. And then there's going to be glue residue. Whereas I, if I could just screw it on and off, it'd be a lot easier. But that was just the one little thing. Um, other than that, the uh, the pop on the board was amazing. It was a really comfortable, a really comfortable ride, uh, especially with like doing um, regular style st uh, street tricks. Um, overall, I was really really surprised with the board. I really really enjoyed it. I I thought it was going to be difficult to get used to a board with no concave, but it wasn't that difficult at all. Uh, once I became comfortable with the board, I uh, I really enjoyed it. So that's the board right there. Again, this is their engraved old school shape. It's a very nice board. Uh, the dimensions, again, I believe are 
31 to 32 millimeters wide, I believe, and about 100 millimeters in length. So that's the board there. And another thing I have is their um, dual bearing wheels. And um, these uh, dual bearing wheels fit perfectly with uh, Woody Wood trucks because Woody Wood trucks pretty much have an axle that's long enough to fit any wheel. Um, but if you don't have Woody Wood trucks and you still want to try out these wheels, you can use them on other trucks. You just may have to uh, glue the wheel nut, um, meaning that you would tighten the wheel nut all the way. And then once the, um, the wheel's locked up, just loosen the wheel nut a little bit until the wheel could start to move. Then just put a dab of super glue on the end of the uh, wheel nut and the axle and let it dry. And then you'll be able to use these wheels. Now the wheels also have a great shape. And again, they're dual bearing and they have a flat riding surface and then they kind of round it off on the edges. Hopefully you guys could see that. And they are a thicker wheel in the sense of width that I'm used to. But I mean, it was it was still a very comfortable ride. And um, they're nice and smooth, roll for forever. And um, not too grippy, um, a bit more on the hard side, which is kind of what I prefer, um, depending on what you're doing. Um, but for overall, overall use these are great wheels i really enjoyed them and uh i'm not sure if they come in any other colors these are the ones that woody woodchuck sent me to review and um the craftsmanship again is is really nice they are backless because they are dual bearing so you won't need washers and overall they are a great performing wheel i really did enjoy them So I'll have um, all the information on where you can get Woody Wood Truck products. The trucks I know for sure you can get at afflictionfingerboards.com. Um, everything else is um, the best way, to, I guess, to contact them is the way that I contact, contact them is through um, Facebook. So I'll have the link to their Facebook page in the description. So um, you guys can contact them and, um, and see what other products they have. And uh, maybe order some of their, their products um uh, that you see here today. All right, guys, so all the information is gonna be in the description. Go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.